Hello again. Uh, Dawn on me that I did mention, I think I mentioned at least briefly last time that um, I've been offline for a couple of years and it's taught me so much about friendship and about um, being intentional with people. Um, and you know what, you don't even have to really be friends with them per se. It's more just um, encouraging people and going out of your way more often and um, having coffee more, talking face to face. It's a concept I think so many people have lost sight of and literally. And so I just feel like it's such a, a uh, an art, this friendship, but so valuable, so, so valuable. And, you know, having kids, I'm trying to teach them that um, while having friends is important it's also important to choose your friends wisely be kind to everyone I was just talking to a friend one of my closest friends this morning and she said something very true sad but very true and that's that kindness isn't what people expect unfortunately people expect different from kind more selfish antics more um, a dog eat dog kind of world unfortunately and so kindness is really a great lesson to teach your kids to teach yourself really to respond in kindness assume the best in people um, too often people don't even get the benefit of the doubt there's so many bitter people unfortunately and so we have to make up for it by being kind just responding in kindness um, my mom always used to say and my dad too Kill him with kindness, Sarah. Kill him with kindness. And while there's so many things that I uh, don't want to necessarily repeat that my parents did or say the things that I've always swore I would never say, we always kind of do. We always kind of fall in that line, unfortunately. And it's not even unfortunate. My parents did a wonderful job raising us and lots of love and lots of memories and fun. Um, so it wouldn't be uh, a disservice to my kids at all. But of course, when we're kids, we think our parents don't know anything. And certainly they don't know me. But um, having some of my own now, I do see the value in killing them with kindness. And so while my eight, eight-year-old, almost nine-year-old is um, having some battles with friendships, with navigating people's feelings and um, why they do certain things, say certain things, why do they treat people this way over here and these people over here differently, and it's already happening. And she's my oldest, and so I'm really hoping that um, I don't screw her up with all my uh, advice or recommendations. Obviously, I pray for her, and um, and I and I pray that's enough right there. But to encourage her, though, I feel like you can believe the best in people. Millers believe the best in people. I hope that that really sinks in and she'll learn, that they'll all learn that, that what that really means. And so on the line of friendship, I feel like um, there's just a lot of value having people in your life, people who hold you accountable, people that you can be real with. I mean, you should really be real with everybody, but it's not always safe to be real because, again, it's a condemning world. The world we live in is hard. And so being ourself isn't exactly a liberty that we care to, um, to use, to trust in. And so I just feel like, um, I guess because I'm kind of on the cusp of a trip with some girlfriends today, that um, you, just spending the time, learning their love language. I don't know if you've heard of that, that book by... Gary Chapman, but it's an excellent book. Five love languages. Figure out your kids' love language. Figure out your friends' love language. Of course, figure out your husband's. And if you don't know it by now, <laughs> I'm talking to myself here. It's been 10 years. I know my husband's love language, and I think it's along the lines of pretty much every man in the world. I'm just guessing, but um, he's delightful, and we've learned a lot about each other and about our love language. And, you know, spending that time, investing that time, not just with your friends, but learning about your friends and um, growing in your relationships, I just think it's important. And so I'm super excited about this weekend. I'm going with two girlfriends. It was going to be three, but she caught the flu, and I'm super sad about that. 
I risked it and gave her a hug today because I'm gonna miss her so much but um, spending a t some time with some girlfriends just taking a break from everyday life the grind is really important and you don't have to go somewhere fancy or expensive you can go spend the night in a hotel and use the pool and have continental breakfast who cares it doesn't have to be fancy it's just spending time staying up all hours of the night and giggling and and just getting away from the monotony and the um the everyday and so um and do date nights too with your kids i talked about that with um someone who um this morning about she's got the ideal amount of kids she's got two kids so her and her husband you know flip-flop take your kids on a one-on-one -on -one date they crave that time you each have a time with each daughter like one week take her and the next week take the other one and you guys can switch it's ideal you don't need a sitter you don't need somebody with the other kids it's pretty fun um, with four it's a little trickier but we make it happen because that one-on-one -on -one time is so crucial so I don't know if any of this made sense, but it got me pretty fired up when I talked to my friend this morning and well, both of them super sad about the other one not coming this weekend, but um, a, a conversation before that with another friend just energized me. It's, um, it's a valuable lesson to learn this friendship thing and um, I encourage you to invest in people. It's, it makes life so much better, keeping the focus off of us. Again, we're others focused, and you can get so much benefit for that, from that for yourself. Oh, here, here's a friend coming to say hello. He's just giving his afternoon hug. Oh, hi, buddy. This is Harley. He's my buddy. He's still a puppy. Yeah. Anyway, invest in your pups, too. Obviously, they crave it. <laughs> Have a great day.